Hey guys, it's Sharon. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. Not too long ago, I made a video where I reacted to this series called I Didn't Know I Was Pregnant. And I got so many comments saying, please turn this into a series. So that is exactly what I am doing. We are officially turning this into a series where Sharon watches a bunch of I Didn't Know I Was Pregnant episodes and you get to watch along with me for the first time. Maybe you've already seen these, but I sure haven't. If you want to see more videos like this, give a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. If there's a specific episode you want to see me react to, link me in the comments. And if you want to see my videos, get a chance to be in them or even get to be shadow of the day. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram, my Twitter, and my TikTok. And that's also how you get extra content. And of course, make sure you're subscribed and your post notifications are turned on. But all that being said, go grab your snacks, go grab your tea, and let's get traumatized together. I think this is like a really great bonding experience that we share. So this episode... <laughs> I just can't believe this is a thing. This episode is called, I thought I was gonna die in my bathtub. Imagine you're taking a bubble bath, trying to enjoy a moment of silence in your bathtub and you end up giving birth. <laughs> I'm never taking another bath again. I feel like I gotta emotionally prepare myself. <laughs> February, my period was a little late. I've always had a very normal cycle. And just when I thought, okay, maybe I should buy a pregnancy test, my period came. So oh. after that, okay. I thought nothing more of it because all of my periods were normal. A few weeks later, her best friend Samantha noticed a change in Caitlin's appetite. Caitlin started eating more and we would constantly eat all day long. Oh, I'd be in trouble because I would not know that's a sign of pregnancy because I get cravings when I'm on my period and when I'm about to get my period. So I would literally just believe that I'm about to get my period, even though she just had her period. Wait a second. From June on, it, it was almost like she was eating all the time. Oh, I was amazed at how much food she ate. It was a lot. <laughs> Oh no. In July, I went to put a swimsuit on, and when I looked at myself in the mirror, I thought I probably put on about 30 pounds. I didn't go out and buy new clothes. I just stuck Wait, to Wait, wearing... her period was late in February. In July, she's noticed she's gained weight. So from February to July, was she getting a period every single month? Holy crap, absolutely not. That's when I draw the line. That is too much. That means you're not safe, ever. Unless you haven't had sex in the last nine months, that's the only way you're safe. No way, dude, no way. How? I thought maybe the weight gain was because I started working at an Italian restaurant. Uh, I was eating pizza and pasta. And that sounds like I a great job. I never picked a salad off of the menu. But Samantha came up with an alternative. Okay, I don't, I'm not trying to be rude, but I was like, I don't want to hurt your feelings, but are you pregnant? Are you pregnant? No. I'm on my period right now. Okay. What? Okay. And she was like, no, I'm not pregnant. I'm just fat. Let's go. Okay. Other than gaining the extra weight. So she got her period in February and she got her period again in July, but she's pregnant? No, I can't do that. No, absolutely. That's, what's the point? That's literally cheating. Caitlin didn't detect anything unusual. <gasps> Two months later, Caitlin was suddenly awoken by intense pains in her stomach. Oh, Lord. About 2.30 in the morning, I started getting really bad cramps. It was time for my period, and so I got up to use the restroom, and I noticed a little blood. When I laid back down, I noticed another cramp. And this time, it was probably five times worse than it was. Listen, I have definitely been woken up by cramps in the middle of the night, I don't know why, like usually three or four a.m. hits right before my period and I'm cramping and that's how I know my period is coming because my body just starts cramping before it. And that'll happen to me like several nights in a row. Never once has the thought occurred to me that maybe it was a freaking little human inside me kicking or some crap like that. Absolutely not, dude. It's also the fact that she's bleeding and granted. Here's the thing, you can still bleed while you're pregnant, but the catch is that it's not your period, it's vaginal bleeding. 
but a period is blood that comes from your vagina. So I see where it can get really confusing and this is where it sucks to be a person with a uterus because what the heck? How am I supposed to know the difference between my period and vaginal bleeding? If I see blood coming out of my coochie, I'm gonna be like, it's my period. Not that it's a freaking baby and that I'm pregnant, you know? Oh, I can't. This is truly the worst thing that could ever happen. I could tell that she was really hurting and I tried to get her to go to the hospital, but she wouldn't go. I told Jason it was just a really bad period and Dang. I just wanted to wait it out and see Maybe how I felt Maybe you should have gone to the me. hospital to find out you were pregnant actually. Around 4 a.m. I went and got into the spare bedroom bed so that I wouldn't wake him up anymore. An hour later it felt like someone had a knife inside of me and was twisting it. Every two minutes it was the same pain. But you know cramps be like that sometimes. Up. Granted they shouldn't though. to go to the hospital again and she wouldn't go. After Jason left and I was alone, I decided that maybe a hot bath would ease the pain a little bit. Oh Lord, the baby's coming. My pain was a 10 on a scale of one to 10. Every time I moved, it just I felt like someone was stabbing me with another knife. Uh, uh, and I knew something was really wrong. Uh, I felt the need to push uh, uh, and what are you pushing out? A baby. You are pushing out a freaking baby. I reached down. I felt something really slimy. I immediately thought my organ. body was pushing my own organs out. There was no way that I could have gotten out of the bathtub to call for help. I could have screamed as loud as I could and no one would have heard me. I was terrified. I thought I was gonna die in my bath. I'm never taking a bath. And then I reached down again, and I felt the hair. <laughs> this is when I knew that I was about to deliver a baby. <laughs> what? I started hysterically crying because I was all alone. Absolutely not. I would be in so much denial. I'd be in literally denial river. The worst part. Just literally picture sitting in a bathtub. You're surrounded by little bubbles. You're having the worst cramps of your life. You feel your body needs to push. You feel hair under the water. I'd be like, nah, that's crazy. The water is growing hair. That's so insane. <laughs> I think I was losing my hair before thinking it was a child. Oh no, no, no. Uh, no, girl, you should have just gone to the hospital at 4 a.m., truly. About five minutes later, he just came right out. <laughs> We'll put him back in. I grabbed him oh, and what? up out of the water. <laughs> Absolutely and knew not. that this child depended on me. So I think mother instincts just kicked in. I've seen babies delivered on TV and I've watched no. pretty much everything no. that they do. And I stuck my finger into his mouth to get anything out that Actually, could have been in there. Good for her that she knew to do that. Me? He was very ah. small. Holy crap, I have no idea what I need to do, what I could do, what to do. I would probably sit there in denial for like 20 minutes while this poor kid is crying their eyes out because I would just be like, no way, this just came out of me. But seriously, good for her. She didn't even panic or anything. She was just like, oh crap, I'm a mother now. Let me check inside its mouth. Yeah, motherly instincts, I guess. Nope, I absolutely not. I can't. <laughs> I would think I got sucked into like a different dimension. That I'm having a very, very vivid dream. Oh my gosh. So I began to get nervous. I got a towel and I wrapped him up. And when I did that, he cried. I would simply be like, he will make this baby out of the bathroom. I grabbed a pair of scissors and I took a lighter and I burnt them to try to sterilize them. And I cut his umbilical cord. When you cut an umbilical cord, you want to clamp off the baby side and clamp off the maternal side and then cut in between. No. See, I would not know to do that. I would not be able to do that. Honestly, listen, I'm just saying if someone were to get pregnant without knowing they were pregnant, I'm glad it was her because she was very well prepared somehow. She knew exactly what to do. I would have been like, okay, so we're going to go for a little walk. <laughs> that sounds horrible, like a dog on a leash except it's a baby on my umbilical cord. We're gonna go for a walk to the nearest urgent care, the nearest hospital, the nearest anyone that's a doctor, and it's not me. <laughs> she used scissors. She grabbed her craft scissors like, well, this is an art project I wasn't ready for. I saw a text message from Samantha. 
Hey, bestie. Uh, I gotta hey, get that? now. I just had a baby in the back. <laughs> no, you didn't. I didn't know if she was I'm joking or, you know, my fr I had a baby in the bathtub. Who would believe that? She said, no, <laughs> no, you didn't. And she heard the baby cry. Like, and my heart just what stopped. The hell? <laughs> I heard the phone fall and then she picked it back up <laughs> and bad. told me, I'm gonna call 911, you need to call 911. And then we both hung up. And then I called 911. Why didn't you call 911? That would have been the first thing I would have done. Baby in my bathtub. Somebody's ready to take me to the hospital. Okay. How many months Somebody stuck a baby in my bathtub, and I don't know how it's attached to me. When the ambulance arrived, they put a hat on his head, wrapped him up in another blanket, and then after examining me, making sure everything was okay, I cannot okay. believe my eyes. Headed to the hospital. While out with his mother, Caitlin's boyfriend Jason was called by the paramedics and told that she'd oh, just Jason, had a baby. Oh, Jason, are you in for a story? <laughs> oh my gosh. It was just like instant, you know, terror and shock. Was she all right? Was the baby alive? Oh, we just have to get to the hospital now, okay? Just all the worst things in the world ran through my head all the time. You know, time. good for him. For he told his me first she had a baby in the Oh my gosh, is the baby okay? Is I the baby alive? Told... I feel like. <laughs> Pregnant. I had no idea it was pregnant. And I told the people in my life, they would have been like, how did you get pregnant? Where did that baby come from? Who put that baby there? Ran about 90, 95 the whole way. Imagine getting pulled over by the cops because you're going 90 to 55 and you have to tell the cops, sir, my girlfriend who I had no idea was pregnant just gave birth in the bathtub. I gotta go home. That cop would be like, yeah, and my uncle's Barack Obama. <laughs> Paramedics were still removing Caitlin from the ambulance. Her face was just total shock, and you could just tell she was terrified. I mean, yeah. I was worried that the baby oh, just came out wasn't like fully developed and something was wrong with the baby. The doctors were working on him, taking blood samples and checking his heart. We're in good shape. The baby's fine. His lungs were I'll developed, his brain. heart was fine, his brain was functioning correctly. They named the baby Jason Grant Jr. When I first held the baby, I immediately felt connected to him. Listen, Jason has like a great icebreaker story. Uh, yeah, so I was born in a bathtub full of bubbles. My mom had no idea. <laughs> it's the fact that these videos are barely eight minutes and it's the most drama and unbelievable thing you will ever watch. I'm in disbelief. I. <sighs> I don't think that was as bad as giving birth at a theme park. You know what, like, I can't picture, like, going into Disney World and just popping out a kid on the toilet. But, like, you're taking a bath. You're trying to relax. And you end up doing the complete opposite of that. You go into labor? I would simply be like, I don't know what they put in that bubble bath, but, like, it's really messing with me today. <laughs> I feel like it made me hallucinate. It made me give birth somehow. I can't. Valuable lesson we've learned is just because you're bleeding might not actually be your period. You should probably take a pregnancy test still. Cool. Great to know. <laughs> well, if you guys enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up in the comments below. I want you to share whatever the heck you're thinking because I don't know what I'm thinking anymore other than what the heck was that. And I feel like that's going to be a bunch of this series. So that being said, <laughs> keep your eyes out for more episodes. And if there's one you want me to react to, hit your girl up. <laughs> Shout out of the day for today goes to Caitlin on Instagram. Thank you so, so much. If you'd like to be shout out of the day, just follow me on my Instagram and stay active. And I see that my camera battery is dying. So that is great timing. Anyways, if you want to binge more, I only have one episode so far, but this is going to be a brand new series of I didn't know I was pregnant and me being in complete denial, which is exactly what would happen if I was pregnant and I had no idea. But anyways, if you want to see more, make sure you're subscribed and your post notifications are turned on, but I will see you guys next time. And hopefully you don't get pregnant without knowing in between now and then. Okay, bye. <laughs>